Welcome back, listeners, to our continuing review of our Chapter 6 in our physics book. Uh, this question will deal with um, our vertical motion. Uh, particularly, we're going to be dealing with Part A, which is a distance, and Part B, which is asking for a velocity, how fast. So, uh, Part A states, a boy stands on a bridge and drops a rock. If the rock falls for three seconds before hitting the ground, how tall was the bridge? In order to find how tall the bridge was, all, since we know the time, and we know our initial velocity, and we know our acceleration in this case, we can just input into this formula and find our answer. So, again, we're asking how tall was the bridge. So what we're looking for here is the distance. So, we're going to put distance is equal to, now the initial velocity. Since he's dropping the, the rock uh, and not throwing it down, the initial velocity comes to zero. So actually this whole part, zero times time, is obviously zero. Now, when it comes to the acceleration here, the acceleration here is due to gravity. So we're going to put 9.8. That is our acceleration due to gravity. Then we add in the time, which is 3 seconds, and square it. So this is this actually, if you know how to use this formula, this is actually a very simple problem. Distance is equal to 1 half times 9.8 times 3 squared, which is 9. On our calculator, it's easy math. Comes out to 44.1 meters. Okay, now on to part B. Part B is asking again for the velocity just before it hits the ground. To find this, we're going to use the equation the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. Okay, so again, it's asking for just before it hit the ground, so the, the variable that we're going to be looking for is right here, the final velocity. So, our velocity final is equal to, remember I said that the, velocity, the initial velocity, because he's not throwing it down, he's just dropping it, is zero. So when he's holding it in his hand, it's obviously zero. So this one will come to the same thing. The acceleration is the same as in the first part of the problem. It's 9.8 as well. And our time is also 3 seconds. So this one's actually easier to solve than part B. And by the way, you can solve these independently. You don't necessarily have to solve part A first. You can solve part B or part A in this case, uh, vice versa. Okay, so to find our answer, we take 9.8 times 3, and that's equal to 29.4. So the velocity just before it hits the ground is 29.4 meters per second. And that concludes this problem.